Hi, <clears throat> Redheaded Riding Hood here, Red for short. I almost forgot to do that. I came back. It's been so great. I'm kind of sad because it's over. <sighs> the Switchfoot getaway is over. Um, we had a cruise um, in the bay, in San Diego Bay today. It was really nice. And the concert on, on the boat. So, excuse me. So it was really, um, it was really good. Yeah, I met a lot of great people, had a lot of fun. Uh, um, my friend Kathy gave me this bracelet. It says, um, Sisters in Christ, Sisters for Life. That's pretty. So, um, that's nice. Her husband's, um, a pastor. They, they were in Indiana. And so that was cool. And I met a family from Colorado today. Um, they were awesome. They had two, um, uh, their son and their daughter with them. And, um, Brittany has, um, red hair. And I said my, I said my, I said my red uh, ginger me poem actually twice tonight because I said it I went to eat with some friends at um, the Brigadine. Brigadine. Oh, it was such good. I had crab stuffed shrimp with bacon. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. And mashed potatoes. And it was so I've been having, I've been eating, like, aside from the dinner, the first night, I'm like, I ate, I ate so much, and I was, that was the night I met Emily, and we talked and talked and talked, and I just kept eating, because I got this big plate of, um, taco, they had, um, carnitas and tacos, uh, it was really good, the first night, so, that was the only night I did eat, I've been eating. I've been eating corn dogs for dinner. I'm saving money, you guys. I'm saving money. Um, so I think I'm going to go up to Pismo tomorrow and maybe spend there a couple days. Because I don't know if when Wendy's left yet. Because it's going to take Wendy a little bit to get to Flagstaff. So I don't know. If she wants to stop and see me in Pismo, I don't know. I'll... I'll I'll text her and see when she's going, but I'm gonna go to Flagstaff after that. <sighs> after Flagstaff, I'm just gonna go home. So that's what my plan is now. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm not supposed to tell everybody, but I'm telling everybody. <clears throat> I'm not gonna tell you where I'm gonna be exactly. Just generally. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read you this one. Um, it's the 20th. It was Rom, Rami's birthday today. He's the oldest, like, switch foot member. Because he's my age. <laughs> well, he just turned 57. We got these buttons. I'll show you. And they kept saying happy birthday. So he's a keyboard player. And um, and I said a poem for him. I said my song poem for him um, um, yesterday. Yesterday? Was that yesterday? Yeah, that was yesterday. Yesterday was awesome too. <laughs> yesterday was awesome. Today is awesome. I think I'm going to come back next year. I really do think I will. I'm going to. I'm going to come back every year. They have it. Because <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> and I love Switch Fit. And they're so, they're so nice. They're so genuine. Um, so. 
um, okay, I'm trying to figure out which one. So I'm June 20th, June 20th. The Long View. Lord Norcliffe was gifted with very long sight. It was said of him that he could read the prices of articles in shop windows while he was sitting in a taxi cab driving down the middle of the road. But by far most of the time was spent reading books and newspapers. At one time he was threatened with blindness. A London Oculus took the view that only an operation could save Norcliffe's sight. Norcliffe was unwilling to undergo an operation and sought another opinion. He went to a German eye specialist. The verdict of the specialist was that Norcliffe was suffering from extreme weariness of the optic nerve. And the cure was that Norcliffe must, at least for a time, give up looking at things close at hand and look at things in the distance and far away. Huh. The cure for Norcliffe was to stop peering at the things which were close at hand and look at things that were far away. There is much sound truth in that. In every action, we would do well to look at the future of our own lives. Many a thing may seem very unpleasant at the moment, but it will bring much regret in the years to come. We would be saved from many an error and we would overcome many a temptation if we stopped to think about how the thing would look, not at the moment, but in another month or another year or even at the end of life. Many a thing only requires in true proportion and its true significance when we learn to take the long view of it. We would do well sometimes to think not only of the future as it affects ourselves, but also as it affects other people. Anthony Colette tells how he was building a country cottage and how he was planning to lay out the garden of it. In charge of operations in the garden, there was an old man. Anthony Colette had given him instructions to plant apple trees and walnut trees in certain places. But the old man came to him and said, you did tell me to plant apple trees there, but I have put the walnut trees there and the apple trees there for I think that when you and me were gone, those walnuts would shade them apples. The old man was thinking how the garden would look years after he and Anthony Colette were gone. That's the end. Part two is tomorrow. And um, tomorrow's going to be a travel day, but I'll have time. Check out isn't until noon. I'm like, I love that. I love it when check out is at noon. <laughs> That's wonderful. That gives me plenty of time to uh, pack up my car. And I'll probably even do this before I go. So. All right. I have had a great time. I'm sad that it's over. But hopefully I can come back next year. All right. Don't say that no one cares for you because I do and God does too. Don't forget to pray for Red because Red is praying for you. Bye.